What you're going to notice first is Juan has the machine all set up with half inch premium grade plywood uh, secured together with an EGS strip and screws to keep them from separating, sliding apart. Um, he's going to start the machine and we're going to apply a urethane based glue with a water activator um, <clears throat> all the way across the part from end to end. So as you see right now, we're doing a, a gravity drop of urethane-based glue coming off the front of the machine. Off the back, we're running 1.25 grams of water being misted across, activating this glue as the machine rolls on. And what I'm doing is I'm following behind the machine to make sure that we have a nice consistent glue pattern. Just underneath the uh, half-inch plywood on these uh, fifth wheel toy haulers, we have placed EGS on the floor to, ca to catch your uh, tie downs in the uh, garage area. Now we are going to be bringing over the frame. We'll be placing this front left corner, front right corner flush with the front of the uh, plywood. Juan will be letting it, the part down from the other end. We'll square it onto the plywood and then we'll let it down. Right now there is a gap between the glue and the part because we're still lifted with the hoist. But by the time we take out these uh, hoist hooks, this part will be setting down into the glue. So now as the machine's coming back, we're uh, putting our second pass of glue on where we will start to lay on the glue on panels. The bottom layer started with a 48 inch piece of half inch plywood, so on the top layer we split that to give more strength we start with a 24 inch piece of glue on. The glue on that we're using is 2.7 mil. And as, if you want to look right here you can see Every seam is exactly 24 inches off from the one below it. So now what you've just saw is our third and final pass of glue um, on top of the Luon so we can uh, have something to adhere the Darko which is used as an underbelly on the 4250 floor. And as we're pulling, we're stretching to make sure that this lays as flat as it possibly can before it goes into the press. We'll go back and, can you stretch that side right there? Give it a couple tugs and stretch it, okay? We're gonna bring a protective layer of plastic back over the part. This part will go into the vacuum press 
for a total of 45 minutes at 3.8 pounds per square inch of pressure. So after the part spends its time in the bag curing, letting them vacuum pump suck out all the air um, from all three layers of this floor, it will come out the other end into our routing area where one of our associates will routing out the uh, wheel well opening and the slide out opening and it will be ready to deliver.